publishing, printing and sharing publications. In the past, publishing meant delivering your publication to a production company and having it printed and bound. The world has changed a lot since then. We have infinitely more options. With fast, high-resolution printers, publishing a publication can be as easy as sending it to your printer and binding it by hand. Many office supply stores sell saddle staplers and comb binders. Saddle staplers allow you to fold pages and staple them in the middle, just like a magazine. Comb binders don't require any folding. The comb binding machine punches a series of oblong holes along one edge of the paper and then rolls a plastic comb binder into it to hold the pages together. Many companies use these methods to print manuals and presentations that are going to be used within the company. The term publishing has also expanded to include electronic methods of delivery. For instance, an email flyer, web advertisements and ebooks. In many cases, you will probably want to publish the same publication in a variety of different formats. In this lesson, we'll introduce you to the tools Publisher provides that make doing this easy and intuitive. Publisher 2016 gives you various ways to share your publications. Let's talk about these different ways by going to the Backstage area via the File tab, then clicking Share on the left. You'll see this screen. As you can see, you immediately have two ways to share. You can share via email, with your publication as an attachment, or as an email preview. We're going to choose email. When you choose to send as email, you can do it in one of four ways. You can embed the publication in the body of an email. To see it, someone will have to be able to view HTML emails. Send the current publication as an attachment. Send it as a PDF attachment, or send it as an XPS file. PDF and XPS formats are basically electronic representations of your physical publication. They were designed to exactly replicate it across different computer platforms. When created correctly, the publication that you send to your printer is identical to the publication your boss views on his computer. We're going to choose Send it as a PDF attachment, so we'll click this button here. As you can see here, the publication is attached to an email as a PDF attachment. One of the great features of Publisher is that you don't necessarily have to know HTML to create an attractive web page. Instead, it converts your publication to HTML for you. To use this feature, go to the File tab and select Export. Then publish to HTML on the left here. By default, it's automatically set to publish as a web page. However, if you click the downward arrow, you can see your other options. Publisher can handle the HTML content in one of two ways. As a web page, HTML, which is pretty much how most HTML publications are published to the web. This method creates a basic HTML file with location information for all of the objects on the page, but the objects themselves are placed into a supporting file folder. The second method creates a single file web page, mhtml, in which all of the objects and images are embedded on the page and no supporting file folder is created. Click the Publish HTML button. Your publication now becomes the index page, or the home page of a website. Choose a location where you want to save the page. Then click on Save. The Pack and Go section is where you go when you're completely finished with the publication and want to send it to a commercial printer. Here, you will get to select how big of a file to create, where the largest file equals the highest quality, of course, whether to create a .pub file format or PDF file format, or both, and more. The Pack and Go export options can be found on the File tab in the Export section. Click Save for Commercial Printer. Now, let's look to the right and the Commercial Press drop-down menu where you will choose the file size, and in doing that, the quality of the file. You'll see this. As you can see, Publisher gives a brief explanation of each option. If you are in doubt about which option to choose, check with your commercial printer. If you choose Custom, Publisher allows you to tweak the settings and get the best compromise between file size and publication quality. Now let's look at the next setting below Commercial Press where you'll select the type of file to send to the printer. Here we can have Publisher create a PDF file and a Publisher file, or just a PDF file or a Publisher file. Check with your commercial printer to see which files to send. Offset printing plates are typically made with PDF, 
but the printer may want the publisher files to make small color corrections or something of that nature. When you are satisfied with your settings, click the Pack and Go Wizard button. When you click this button, you'll be asked to save your file. So save your file. Then you'll be asked where you want the files to be sent. You can decide to burn the files to disk, so a blank disk will need to be inserted into the disk drive, a removable storage device, such as a flash-based thumb drive, a floppy disk, do they even make these anymore, or some other location on your computer. Select a location and then click on Next. Publisher will work for a minute, where the length of time depends on the size of the file, then notify you that the process is complete. You can use the Pack and Go wizard to save files for another computer too. The screens you see are slightly different than when you send the file to a commercial printer. Click on File and then Export again. Then click on Save for another computer. Click the Pack and Go wizard button. You'll then see the Pack and Go wizard dialog box. This first window basically tells you what the wizard will do. Click on Next. The next screen is identical to the one that we saw earlier when we saved files for a commercial printer. Select a location for saving the files and then click on Next. In this window here, you can choose to include fonts and graphics. Make your selections by checking the appropriate boxes, then click on Next. The next screen here is simply informational. Click Finish to compress and save your publication. You can also save your publications as images for photo printing. Go to the File tab, and then click Export on the left. Then select Save for Photo Printing. Go to the JPEG Images for Photo Printing drop down menu. As you can see here, you can either save your publication as a JPEG or a TIFF file. Next, click the Save Image Set button. Select a location to save the files, then click on Select Folder. The files are then saved as images. Printing a publication in Publisher 2016 is easy. Click on the File tab, and then click Print on the left. Select your printer in the Printer section. Specify if you want to print all pages, or just some pages. If you just want to print one page or a range of pages, enter in the numbers in the Pages field here. Select if you want to print one page per sheet, or if you want the pages tiled. You can also decide on the size of paper to print on, and if you want to print one side or two. Next, you can decide if you want to print the composite RGB or composite grayscale. This has to do with the colours you use to print. Choose RGB to print in colour, or grayscale to print in black and white. On the right side of the window, you'll see the print preview. If you want to preview a different page, or to zoom in to make the preview larger, or zoom out to make it smaller, you can do so at the bottom of the print preview here. Click this button here to fit to a sheet of paper. Click the button next to it to view multiple sheets in the print preview window. Above the preview of your publication, you'll see a slider. Use the slider to make the page numbers appear in the preview. The more you slide it to the right, the darker the page numbers will become. Use this button here to show or hide the ruler. You can also select the number of copies that you want to print, and then click on the print button when you're ready to print.